In this tutorial, I'll show you two examples on how you can use the cross product to calculate torque. Question 1 reads, a bolt is tightened by applying 40 newtons force to a 0 0.25 meter wrench as shown in the figure. Find the magnitude of the torque about the center of the bolt. Before we begin answering this, I want to go through a little bit of theory that will really help you understand the concept of cross product and torque. Take for example a force F acting on a rigid body at a point given by a position vector r. For instance, let's say we're tightening a bolt by applying a force to a wrench where a turning effect occurs. The torque in this situation is defined to be the cross product of two vectors, the position vector and the force vector shown in this relationship here, where this symbol represents tau, the Greek letter, and torque measures the tendency of the body to rotate about the origin. So of course once you find the cross product of these two vectors you end up with a third vector which is the torque vector and the direction of that vector indicates the axis of rotation. Now in one of our previous videos we learned that when you find the length or the magnitude of the cross product vector you end up getting the area of the parallelogram in which the two vectors that make up the cross product make in 2D space. The area of this parallelogram can also be calculated using the magnitude of both r and f multiply to sine of the angle between the position and the force vector. And just to give you an idea of that, take a look at this illustration. If this represents the force vector and that represents the position vector, finding the magnitude of the cross product of r and f is like finding the area of this parallelogram and this formula can be broken down further by remembering that the area of a parallelogram is the base times the height and that's the same thing as saying the magnitude of r times the magnitude of f times sine theta. Now with all that said, let's go back to our question and let's piece this all together. We're told that the force f in our case here is 40 newtons in this direction. And this is happening 0 0.25 meters away from where the bolt is being tightened or loosened. This is the magnitude of the r vector, and this is the magnitude of the f vector. So keeping in mind the formula, torque is equal to the vector r times the vector f, we can break this down further into the magnitude of r times the magnitude of f times sine at the angle in which this is occurring, which is 75 degrees we can replace r with 0 0.25 and we can replace f with 40 newtons and whenever you're doing these types of examples you want to make sure that the units here are in meters because newtons is the same thing as one kilogram times meter over second squared so you want to make sure that this is in meters and nothing else and we multiply these two numbers by sine at 75 degrees. Now we'll use our calculator. We have 0 0.25 times 40 times sine of 75. Make sure that your calculator is in degrees and we should end up with 9.65. 9.65. We're not taking into account significant figures here so we'll just stop at 3. And this number here represents the magnitude of the torque and since we're dealing with newtons and meters, the units here are in joules. One more thing to consider before we conclude is that we haven't been told whether the bolt is right threaded or left threaded. The reason why that's important is because it dictates whether the torque vector goes into the page or out of the page. Remember, the cross product always gives a vector that's perpendicular and that can be in opposite directions. As a result, we multiply this number, the one that we found, by a unit vector of the cross product vector, which we can call or assign as any letter we'll use the letter N. Let's move on to question number two. In question number two we're asked, a bicycle pedal is pushed by a foot with 60 newtons force as shown. The shaft of the pedal is 18 centimeters long. Find the magnitude of the torque P. So this is one of our vectors and the other vector is this one. And that force is being exerted at the point P. Once again, we'll use the formula that we used in the previous example where the torque the magnitude of the torque is equal to r times f times sine theta. The angle here is 70 plus 10, that's 80. So I'll write down r, which is the distance 
18 centimeters converted into meters is 0 0.18 times the magnitude of this vector, which is 60 times sine at 80 degrees. Let's use our calculator again. 0 0.18 times 60 times sine at 80, and we end up with 10.6 joules. And there you have it. Two examples on how to use the cross product to calculate torque.